On the 30th and 31st of January, members of the Committee of the Regions gathered in Brussels to attend its 105th plenary session. The President of the Committee of the Regions, Ramon Luis Falcar Salciso, started the session with stressing how important this new year is for the EU. 2014 will be an important year in terms of economic recovery. We hope that we can leave the economic crisis, which has had such a profound effect on Europe, behind us. But as well as that, we are looking to build in the future. In a debate with the European Commission's President Mr. Barroso, COR First Vice President Mercedes Bresso pointed out the importance of regaining citizens' trust in the EU. To do so, good economic governance is of the highest importance. We feel sure that if all the institutional players play their part, we will manage to pull off this difficult task of restoring the confidence of citizens across Europe. Europe needs to put its foot down on the economic accelerator pedal, in particular through closer coordination in economic governance. Mr. Barroso agreed with the regions and cities' representatives on the need for a better coordination of member states' economic policies and on the role of the new EU cohesion policy in helping to regain citizens' confidence in Europe. Public investment, co-financed by the cohesion policy, is over 50% in one-third of the EU countries. And in some of the countries, more than 75% of public funds come from the EU. That means that without the cohesion policy, these countries would not have the possibility to invest. On the second day, the debate continued in the presence of Mr. Oli Rehn, the EC's vice president in charge of economic and monetary affairs. They discussed the state of play and future of the EU strategy for growth and jobs, economic governance and the fiscal consolidation efforts they would like to see member states and local governments pursue in 2014 and beyond. It is indeed essential to maintain the momentum of economic reform, to continue to lift competitiveness and boost private and public investment as well as uh, to pursue consistent efforts uh, to ensure the sustainability of uh, public uh, finances. During this plenary session, the Greek Minister for Internal Affairs, Yanis Michelakis, set out the priorities of the Greek Presidency. Also, a number of opinions were adopted. Among them, Rapporteur Destin's opinion on a more social European monetary union. Paula Baker presented her report on the Commission's proposal to amend the current waste shipment relations and Frank Zimmermann's opinion stressed that the Commission's proposal for a single market for electronic communication is far from finalized. The Committee of the Regions will meet again in March in Athens at the occasion of its sixth summit of regions and cities.